So this is my recipe for this fat motherfucking meatloaf. Alright? It's the fat man's motherfucking meatloaf. And it's good. It's my daughter laughing in the background. So, you're gonna need a tablespoon. You're gonna need one eighth of a teaspoon. And you're gonna need one teaspoon. Alright? For those of y'all motherfuckers who can't catch up, pay attention. a bunch of spices. You need one teaspoon of salt. Alright. One teaspoon of black pepper. Oregano. Yeah, I know this was an onion powder canister, but my oregano came in a bag, so I just recycled the onion powder and put the oregano in there. One teaspoon of oregano. One eighth of a teaspoon. These are pretty potent. These flavors are potent, so I'm gonna use a little bit. Sage. Turmeric. This is organic turmeric. I also recycle one of these little jars and I just use it. I don't use a lot of turmeric, but it's good for your heart, it's good for the flavor. Teaspoon of time. Yeah, so there's two of these. And I use an eighth of a teaspoon of dill. A tablespoon of parsley. No. Like a lot of parsley. And I like a lot of garlic. Tablespoon of garlic. Powder. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna use one 
Stop. Stop playing right from. Spices in there together. It's going to be good. I also use about a teaspoon of this stuff, beefy onion. Put it in. I don't use the whole packet. I just use some of it. Just for some of that flavor that it has. Put a little bit more in there. Teaspoon, tablespoon. No, that's a teaspoon. Teaspoon and a half. So I take a red onion and I'm gonna chop up. Try like a quarter of a red onion. So what I do, 
Take a little pad of butter. Put it on there. Put the flame up a little bit. olive oil or you can use you know any type of oil so that it won't really burn up in the pan this is a non-stick pan cook it till it's translucent peppers and onions I don't know why when you cook the onion before you put it in the meatloaf it comes out better something about me and my hands. My hands are clean. This is not for a restaurant. This is for you and your house. So can you, everybody to be happy. Good food, good eating, good happiness. Ready to pour all in there. So 
sauce, some red wine, well, it's midnight, it doesn't matter really what kind of wine it is, but you know, some red wine, some dill weed, mustard powder, thyme, a little bit more parsley, we're going to mix all these, these ingredients together, so I'm going to take a tablespoon of brown sugar, I guess we call that a heaping tablespoon. Going to take a teaspoon of mustard. Some people use real mustard, like a brown mustard. I just like to use the mustard powder because I don't like that mustard, brown mustard taste for this, for this sauce. But some people do use you can substitute the mustard powder for for like Gouldin's mustard. Take about a half a half a teaspoon of dill.
This is how I like mine. Peas and carrots, mashed potatoes. I'd like to thank Chloe for making the mashed potatoes. She was on the mashed potato station. <laughs> 